ओके दिस इज असाइनमेंट नंबर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन दिस असाइनमेंट आई हैड एक्चुअली कवर्ड इन योर लाइव गूगल मीट क्लास विच इज़ वाई आई हैड नॉट अपलोडेड द वीडियोज बट देन आई गॉट अ कपल ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट सेंग दैट प्लीज अपलोड वीडियोज फॉर द सोल्यूशन ओके सो जस्ट फॉर द बेनिफिट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैड अ कंज्यूमर नेम जो Uh, who spends his pocket money on movies and t-shirts so i have assumed capital m to be the number of movies capital t to be the number of t-shirts that he purchases now uh, one movie costs um um one movie costs 7 dollars so if you're purchasing m movies the cost of movies would be 7m similarly cost of t-shirts will be one t-shirt costs 14 dollars so t t-shirts will cost 14t so my total costs or expenditure will be 7m plus 14t sorry remember to keep your symbols consistent so if i used capital t earlier i should use capital t now now 7m plus 14t is the total expenditure that joe makes and there is a limit to how much he can spend it is 56 dollars remember in a budget constraint technically the inequality inequality sign okay just a second that we use is less than or equal to right it is less than or equal to which means he can spend total amount of 56 dollars or less than 56 dollars on these two items movies and t-shirts now to plot this uh, budget line i can convert it into an M plus fourteen. Okay, one second. Seven M plus fourteen T is equal to is equal to fifty six. um now the first question that they have asked is the first question that they have asked is to formulate the budget constraint and to find the slope now to find the slope what i'm doing is i'm going to express this equation in the general form m x plus c where y is one variable and x is the second variable so i'm going to keep movies on one side so i've got minus 14t plus 56 and if i make it m is equal to minus 14t divided by 7 will be minus 2t plus 56 divided by 7 is 8 so the slope of the budget line is equal to minus 2 now remember here in the space of y variable in the instead of the y variable i have taken m and in the place of x variable i have taken t so this is the slope of the budget constraint when your budget line here you have got t on the x axis and movies m on the y axis right you can if you are confused between which once you have expressed this equation if you are confused which variable to take on the y axis which variable to take on x axis just compare it with this equation general form of the equation the general form 
y equals to mx plus c. So on the left hand side the dependent variable y is represented by m in my equation 1 and the independent variable x is represented by capital T in my equation 1. So when I plot the graph I will take t on the x axis and m on the y axis. Okay, if you are ever confused which to take, compare this equation with the general form. Okay, the coefficient to the variable on the right hand side is your slope, minus 2. Remember a budget line is a negatively sloping line, so it will be a negative number for sure. Alright, so budget line slope slope of the budget line will be price of px by py that is pt negative pt by right in general terms you write it as minus px by py from economics in case you remember minus px by py is the slope of the budget line so that's pt by pm which is pt is fourteen dollars and pm is seven dollars minus two right so either remember your economics microeconomics one where you know that the slope of the budget line is minus px by py so again depending on whether you are taking movies on top or uh, t-shirts on top make sure that you plot your axis according to that right whatever is on top should be on the x-axis so here I have taken t-shirts on top so t-shirts is my x-axis my denominator is pm so movies m is on my y-axis right The first bit of the question asked you to find the slope and the equation for the budget line. So we did that already. Uh, next asks you to plot budget line B and name it BL0. So I am working with this equation, equation 1, right, um, minus 2, 8 plus 8. Generally uh, the rule says that to plot a straight line you need at least two points, okay. so on my my x is t and my y variable is m right so uh, assuming my x variable t to be 0 so t equal to 0 m will be minus 2 times 0 plus 8 it will be equals to 8 okay one second equal to 8 and next I'm assuming m to be 0 so assuming m to be 0 I've got 0 equals to minus 2t plus 8 taking minus 2t to the left hand side I get positive 2t is equal to 8 which means t is equal to 8 by 2 is equal to 4 right so I've got the coordinates for two points two points are more than enough to plot a straight line how do I plot the straight line uh, right remember here again if you're confused which variable to take on y-axis which variable to take on x-axis write the general form y equals to mx plus c so the variable corresponding to x here is t and the variable corresponding to y here is m right what are the coordinates that i'm going to plot when t is 0 my m is 8 so that's 2 4 6 8 So my point 0, 0,8 will be here and when t is 4 
okay they should be equally spaced remember i am doing this with a magnetic pen you guys have to do it with a ruler and a pencil i do not like graphs drawn in pen so please take the effort to take a pencil and a ruler and draw this okay so the point on the x axis will be when t's value is 4 m's value 0 4,0 and i will join this with a straight line right so this is my bl0 bl0 now in your second bit of the same question the prices of movies had increased from $7 to 8 so your budget line bl1 the equation for it becomes 8 m because it's px x plus py y that is the budget line equation right so 8 times m plus 14 times t is less than or equal to 56 so to plot it take it in its equality form 8m plus 14t is equal to 56 mm. leaving m on the left hand side it's minus 14t plus 56 so m is equal to minus 7 by 4 plus 7 right so again yeah how has your um, your slope is now minus 7 by 4 that is it has in absolute terms it has reduced from 2 um how do you plot this okay x variable is t y variable is m so when your t is 0 your m is 7 and when your m is 0 okay let me just show that t equal to 0 m is equal to minus 7 by 4 times 0 plus 7 so m is equal to 7 and when your m is equal to 0 when m equal to 0 you have 0 is equal to minus 7 by 4 t plus 7 so if i had to go below um 7 7 by 4 t is equal to 7 and t equals to 7 into 4 by 7 equals to 4 right so you've got your two points let's plot it on the budget line i'm using green line now green pen for this um when t is 0 m is 7 so that is 0, 7 and here it remains at 4,0 right okay let me see if i can get it a bit better right 
So this is exactly what you would expect from your microeconomics lectures as well. Your movies have become more expensive, so the budget line shifts inwards on the movie axis. It was 0,8 earlier, now it has shifted or shrunk to 0,7. So what does that mean? Here, your budget set has actually decreased. Budget set comprises of all those bundle of goods that you can afford given your fixed money income and the prices of the goods. So now that price of one of the goods, in this case movies, has increased your total purchasing power has reduced which is why you can now afford a smaller triangle if you notice now this is the only range of goods that you can afford to buy whereas earlier you could have you could have bought o a C, a bigger triangle of goods that you could have purchased. Now remember those who have uh, plotted the graph by reversing the axis, that is those who have plotted with T as on your Y variable, T-shirts on your Y variable and movies on your X-axis. Um, you will plot the new budget line also in the same graph okay whichever you do stick to the same concept stick to the same x-axis and the y-axis right I'm not showing that because I think you can figure it out on your own the last bit of the first question your prices of movies have increased to $14 prices of t-shirts have increased to $28 and your money income has also increased it has become $112 so uh, I'm going to use the same equation of the budget line that is 14 times M will be the total expenditure on movies where M is the number of movies that Joe watches 28 times T is the total expenditure on t-shirts that Joe purchases and it should be less than or equal to $112. This is the new budget line BL2, the equation for the new budget line BL2. Now to plot it, I can write it as an equality. 14M plus 28T is equal to 112. Um, I'm continuing with my earlier format where I have M on the y-axis. So to find out the slope and other details, I'm going to convert it into the general form of a linear equation, y equals to mx plus c. So that's 14m is equal to minus 28t plus 112 m is equal to minus 28t plus 112 by 14 which means it is equal to minus 28 by 14 t plus 112 by 14 where this cancels and So your budget line equation BL2 is equal to is represented by BL2 is M is equal to minus 2T plus 8 which is same as equation 1 which corresponds to BL0. Right, so even if you do plot BL2, it will coincide exactly with BL0. I can show it like this. So, on y axis, I have movies, on x axis, I have here 0, 0,8. 
and here 4 comma 0 this is BL0 and if you try and plot BL1 you can confirm using by calculating it will coincide exactly with BL0 you don't really need to show it by drawing two lines you can just write it saying since the coordinates of the two points are same uh, BL0 will exactly coincide with BL2 but um, just take a minute to look at what the economic implication of this is what has happened here is your money income has doubled earlier it was 56 and now it has become 112 dollars so ideally if your money income doubles you would think that your purchasing power has also increased but what has happened in this situation is that the two goods that you purchase have also doubled in their prices so although money income has doubled since the prices of both the goods have also doubled in terms of real income or in terms of purchasing power purchasing power your money income remains the same now this is the money illusion that Keynes was talking about when he was developing Keynesian economics or macroeconomics he said that the workers suffered from money illusion where if their nominal money incomes increased they thought that they were better off but in reality if the increase in nominal money income is accompanied by increasing in increase in prices as well in real terms or in terms of purchasing power they might not be better off in some cases they might even be worse off if the prices have increased at faster rate than the money income increase in this case in this example your money income has doubled but your prices have also doubled so your purchasing power parity has neither increased nor decreased it has remained the same your bundle that you can afford the budget set remains the same